we want to go to London right now. China confirmed it has detained a UK consular official from Hong Kong and warned Britain not to meddle. Yahoo Finance's Oscar Williams Groot joins us with the details. They really said to the UK government, don't meddle? Well, they said they have made repeated uh, impressions on the UK Foreign Office uh, not to make inflammatory statements, what they say is see as inflammatory statements related to the ongoing protests in Hong Kong. And uh, some of the discussions today in the press about Simon Cheng, who we see there as the consulate employee who's been detained in China, suggests that maybe he could be a pawn in this geopolitical game. China may be using Cheng as uh, leverage to stop Britain putting pressure on China to uh, back off from the Hong Kong democracy protest. That could be what's going on. At the moment, it's quite hard to tell. China only just confirmed this morning that they have actually detained Cheng. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, he's been held for uh, the better part of almost two weeks now in China. And the British are still keeping pretty tight-lipped on this. I spoke to the Foreign Office earlier, and they said that they're just repeating the line that they put out yesterday, which is they're very concerned and they're in close contact with Beijing and Cheng's family. So it seems like this, for Britain's part at least, is a diplomatic spat that they want to deal with behind closed doors. All right, let's shift gears. The weak pound is making investing in British tech companies actually more attractive. Why? Tell us about it. That's right, and maybe this is why Britain wants to keep relations with China on a strong footing. New figures out today show that $6.7 billion has been invested in UK tech so far this year, and 55% of it came from either Asia or the US. That's a record high. Uh, and part of this, as you say, is due to the weak pound. The pound has been under pressure as we get closer to the Brexit date. That means UK, cheap, uh, UK tech looks pretty cheap. Some notable deals we've had is Amazon investing $575 million in Deliveroo, the UK food delivery startup, although that deal is being probed by competition regulators, and $800 million for SoftBank, the, uh, sorry, from SoftBank for Greensill, the UK fintech company. So plenty more bargains out to snap up, I'm sure. All right, Oscar, we appreciate the update.